Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to tell you a little story right now. And uh, it's a story that uh, starts something like this. It starts. It's getting in tune, first of all. It starts. Once upon a time, I lived in the woods. And I did, I really did. I lived in the woods. Um, would you mind grabbing my cape hold on my guitar case for me? Because I kind of forgot it. But I can still tell the story without a cable. Uh, once upon a time, I lived in the woods. And I really did. I lived up in uh, northern Alberta at a kid's camp. Uh, it was a summer camp. More than just a summer camp. It was sort of a... Thank you very much. It was kind of a spring and a, and a fall and a summer camp because we did school programs as well as summer camp things. Didn't do a whole lot in the winter because it was pretty cold and the snow was pretty deep most of the time. So we, uh, we tied knots a lot in the winter time. <laughs> um, while, while I was living in the woods, I uh, got interested in what you call them our primitive skills. And anybody know what primitive skills are? Those are, those are things like, like making fire without matches, and boiling water with red hot rocks, all sorts of fun stuff. So I got into these things because I was living in the woods. And uh, I, I really, really got enthralled with one, one form of fire making, uh, matchless fires. And it was pretty fun. We, we ended up lighting our campfire that way a lot of the time. Now something happens to me when I, when I do this song that the spirit of the drawl tends to come upon me because it just it seems appropriate to the song. So if there is anybody from you know, the southern portions of the United States here, I really don't mean any disrespect. Just, it, it happens. Um, and this song is about my, my primitive skill, and it's called Firebug. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a run. Spin a little swirl around the way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Now you may wonder what prayer has to do this with this whole thing of primitive skills. I'll tell you, I'm not a particularly religious sort of person, but about a month into the process of trying to make fire without matches. I discovered a very, very real need for the belief in a higher power. <laughs> firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around the way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Now this is a story about the personal thrill that I've had learning how to use the bow drill. A handy dandy piece of primitive technology. Well it's really, really helpful when you don't have a match and you're trying to cook something that you just catch. All you need to find is the right kind of dead tree. Well I heard it was useful and I heard it was cool. I heard it was a most amazing tool. My sleepy mind's eye could already see the flame. Well, just four parts is all you need to bring. A spindle board, hand hold, and a bow with a string. Watch out, survivors, I'm getting into the game. Firebug, firebug, take two sticks and give them a run. Spin a little swirl around the way. Firebug, firebug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Well, I heard that the board should be really flat, so I carved and I scraped and I cussed and I spat. My knife got dull and my senses followed suit. Well, I carved the handhold and then I carved the spindle for my personal resources began to dwindle. Now I need a string, I think I'll use the lace from my boots. Well, when it was finally time to try the thing, I put it all together and all I heard was this You see, the first time you put it together, you're trying to hold it upright and it's really hard to do the song back and forth and it bounces out of there and scares the hell out of you the first time. 
This is gonna be a little harder than I thought at first. While I put it back together, thought I'd go real slow. Set to create some glow from the flow. Pretty soon I discovered places I never knew you could hurt. Fire bun, fire bun. Take two sticks and get them around. Spin a little swirl around wood way, around wood way. Fire bun, fire bun. Soon you'll be all warm as night. When you get that in the dirt and begin to pray. So I practiced and I practiced till my board got hot. My arm was getting stronger, but my string was not. About the time it broke, I thought I had had my fill. Well, I found another string and I gave it a fling. Pretty soon that contraption was starting to sing. I never thought a little puff of smoke could be such a thrill. And I worked on my skill April, May, and June. With each new try, I learned to fine-tune a little piece here and a little twist over there. Why'd I start this thing? I can hardly remember. Didn't get to think I'd get an ember for the 12th of December. My house is a mess and my pride is in disrepair. Fire bug, fire bug, take two sticks and get me around. Spin a little swirl around the way. Fire bug, fire bug, soon you'll be all warm and snug. When you get to hit in the dirt and begin to pray. Well, then one day I heard this squeaking sound as my bow drill spindle twirled round and round. The dust began to pile and the smoke became quite thick. Well, my brow did furrow, I began to perspire. Could this be the solution to my fire desire? To witness right in front of me combustion from a stick. Well, as I carefully halted my bowing action, breathing hard from my excessive muscular contractions, I lifted the spindle slowly away from the board. And much to my awe and my surprise, a thin stream of smoke continued to rise. It was a sign from the Creator which could not be ignored. Being careful not to blow too hard in the direction of the infant flame length, I began to see the most amazing thing. It was a tiny, fragile, baby, red-hot coal. I cradled it in my bundle of tinder. This mere miniature fairy tale kingdom of safety that would keep this tender bud of new life from becoming only a cinder, allowing its birth into the cold, harsh world it had come to warm. As I softly blew to it, it pulsed brighter and brighter. The smoke rising denser and thicker and higher. When suddenly, out of nowhere, like the cosmic, pyrotechnically explosioning, big banging miracle that it was, my bundle burst into a flashing ball of red, life-giving, purifying, no-kill cooking flame! <laughs> Hallelujah! Fire above, fire above, take two sticks and give them a rub. Spin a little swirl around the wood way.